Good afternoon, Howard Wig, Code Green, Think Tech Hawaii. Welcome, one and all. As you are very well aware, Hawaii was the first state to declare the goal of 100% clean energy by the year 2045. And one of the ways we're going to accomplish that is keeping our AC load, air conditioning load, under control. And <clears throat> if the whole planet is going to survive and not drown in CO2, the whole planet needs to keep its AC load under control. Because if you project worldwide, <clears throat> given global warming, the biggest, biggest increase in demand for electricity will be for AC. Enter our guest today, Stephen Sasaki from Nidon Clean Energy. Nidon is a local company and they've been growing like mad. And what they can do is drastically reduce the amount of electricity needed in an AC system to produce the same amount of cold air. So welcome, Stephen. Thank you so much for being our guest today. And as we were talking before the show, I just recently came back from a conference, and one of the presenters has been spending some years in India, especially northern India, mm -hmm. where they are having extreme, extreme heat waves <clears throat> to the point where people are literally dying from the heat. And we know there is going to be this huge increase in demand for air conditioning. And actually, the same is going to be true for all over the world. So one thing we can do to ameliorate the production of CO2, carbon dioxide, which is the greenhouse gas, is render our air conditioning systems much more efficient. And that is where you, Stephen, take over. Please introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about Nidan Green Energy, and then let's get launched into your super efficient product. All right, Howard. Well, thank you for the introduction. And thank you to Think Tech Hawaii for this opportunity to share our technology because we know it's a game changing technology and it'll help uh, businesses, residential, help the people of Hawaii and really around the world save a lot of electricity in the, in the coming years. Uh, first of all, I'm the, the president, vice president of sales and marketing and business development for Need on Clean Energy. Uh, Nick Dizon is our president. Um, he's been on the show and he's done a great job promoting our technology in um, the Philippines and United Arab Emirates, um, as well as Hawaii and the West Coast. So um, we're moving on and I'm on board to help him uh, get Hawaii greener. And so what in the world kind of technology are you talking about here, Stephen? Our technology is um, installing a solar panel onto an air conditioning system or refrigeration system. And the panel is has parabolic arrays that track the sun and absorb the heat and give the heat, uh, provide the heat to the freon in the system which superheats the Freon and saves electricity by, by increasing the temperature and pressure of the Freon in the, in the system, thus and making the compressor more efficient. What kind the of first, temperature are we talking about, Stephen? Um, we, can you show the first slide? We'll take a little diagram, a schematic of the, of, um, the system. And as you can see there, that, that, that panel is, a, is your, uh, energy absorption uh, thermal panel that again heats the freon and it works in conjunction with the compressor and as it increases in pressure it 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 reduces the energy needed to turn the compressor which is your main uh, consumer of electricity in a air conditioning slash refrigeration cycle um, it superheats it and as it comes out of the the panel it it becomes super saturated and cools down and it and it and it saves that electricity for uh, for your customer and for your electricity bill. 
And what uh, percentage <clears throat> are you using compared to just a, a conventional HVAC system? Uh, we have we have results average forty percent. And as we were talking earlier, some of the systems we've seen as much as seventy percent, not solely attributed to SunTrack panel, but the air conditioning system that people have on the roofs many times aren't maintained and fall into disrepair. And so when we change it out with the new variable speed, multi-stage, uh, newer technology in conjunction with SunTrack, we've seen 70% incredible. And with the tax credits that we'll talk about later, mm -hmm. oh, there's a slide, we are actually able to save customers I mean, a return on investment in cases, two years. Where normally in an air conditioning system, you just get a you just get a depreciation, and you and and you have, your return on investment is 15, 20 years. So, with the Inve Inflation Reduction Act tax credits as well as the energy savings, we can give you a return on investment anywhere from two to five years. On the, and again on that slide. Um, the investment tax credits it, as part of the Inflation Reduction Act, it allows companies or even residents to save anywhere up to 70, in, in cases, 80% off the cost of your, your system. Um, you know, specifically, you get 40% off the federal tax taxes, which is actually broken down between the 30% of the uh, renewable energy. And the administration also put 10% if your equipment is made in the USA. So our equipment is made in Tempe, Arizona, um, and that that uh, accounts for the next 10%. Uh, there's also, also tax credits for um, architects and engineers. Uh, we also talked about Hawaii Energy mm -hmm. rebate, where you can you. We keep the data for you. We put an electronic gauge onto your system. We measure before and we measure after. And uh, Hawaii Energy Tax Credits will give you cash for, for the, a more efficient air conditioning system. And lastly, the law allows you to depreciate, uh, accelerate your depreciation on the system, which again, it, it turns out to be 70 and so in cases even more uh, reduction on your uh, air conditioning system. Yeah. And, and just a little background about Hawaii Energy, when you look at your electricity bill, look at the back of it, you see this long list of additional expenses. And in this case, it's the public benefits fee, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that comes from your bill to the PUC, the Public Utilities Commission. Yes. And their kuleana is to monitor and, in, if possible, reduce the cost of different utilities, certainly in, in the electric utility, and they pass that cash on to, well, I won't complicate it, but to Hawaii Energy. And Hawaii Energy's kuleana is to look at all possible energy efficiency measures and see which give the best payback and then provide money to that to reduce the customer's cost of adopting this new energy efficient technology. So you folks are right up there on the customized uh, efficiency measure uh, list. And I'm gathering from, from your description that that's working uh, very well, Stephen. Yes, yes, yeah. it is. Um, thank you for pointing that out, Howard. You know, that's, that's very important and, and it's really educating our customers that you have components of your electricity bill that comprised of that energy tax that, that many people don't know, your peak load and your consumption load. I mean, so there's there's variables in there that our technology help you shave all, all of those components of electricity bill. And, and 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 it is very complicated. It's not a simple it's not a simple calculation to determine what your electricity bill is. So um uh, I'm not the expert, but I can help you help I can help you understand what your components are, but that's an excellent point that you get charged the tax. If you don't get the credits and it, you know, it just doesn't, it doesn't get dispersed. Yeah. That, let me elaborate on that a bit. 
Stephen, we have the Hawaiian Hawaiian Electric and the Kauai K I U C on Kauai are both looking at the fact that we have so much photovoltaic energy in this uh, state right now. We far exceed per capita any other state. We, in the middle of the day, we the photovoltaics are producing too much electricity for the utility to handle. So we're moving more and more over towards storage, putting that excess electricity into big battery size or refrigerator size batteries and yes. then using that for to shave the peak. Our, the demand for electricity starts going up about five in the afternoon when everybody's coming home from work and school and it goes up to a peak when everybody's eating dinner, watching TV. All the guests have come back from the beach and shopping and what another, and the hotels are going and the restaurants are going full blast. But what this technology does is what's called shave that peak. You're reducing the amount of energy consumed in the first place. So you are helping to shave down that uh, peak evening demand. And incidentally, Hawaiian Electric is in the process of adopting TOU, time of use pricing, mm -hmm. where energy will be very cheap in the middle of the day and very expensive in, in the evening peak. So regardless of where you are, you're gonna your technology is gonna be reducing the all over cost, including the cost of that evening peak right. electricity. So great point, great segues to my next slides, Howard, and, and thank you for bringing it up. So um, now this is getting into the, the really the nuts and the bolts, but I think it's important to describe that one of our SunTrack panels equates to seven and a half tons of refrigeration or 90,000 BTU of energy saved. Um, you know, if you did that, if you did that calculus, which, you know, I, I, I you know, I, I just take it for granted, but uh, it comes out in rough order of magnitude. One of our panels saves about 30, the equivalent of 36 PV panels of power generation. So it's it's kind of, it's different. One saves, one generates. But can you imagine if you got one SunTrack panel, it replaces 36 PV panels. So if you're running out of space and you're not close to your net zero goals, SunTrack will help you if you have an AC that's running 24/7 or even 12 hours a day. So that that's something to consider. And I and and obviously we're we're trying to meet the greenhouse gas emissions or reduce those emissions. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a great way of doing that for our customers. Hmm. And where where have you installed so far in Hawaii, Stephen? Uh, we've had customers at a shipping company in San Island. We've done uh, HCND. We are uh, also at Animal Clinic in Kaimiki and as well as Pine Ridge Trucking. Um, as, as we spoke earlier, Nick is pushing very hard. Uh, we've got some installs in the Philippines, which is going to grow very quickly. Because uh, Philippine law is a lot different from American law, um, they're mandated to reduce electricity, not you know get tax credits. So that's very promising for our, our technology, as well as uh, as I spoke earlier, United Arab Emirates is um, um, uh, we're we're breaking the market there as well. As I noted earlier, uh, the demand for electricity as the Earth gets hotter. The demand for AC is just going to increase, increase, increase. Yes, absolutely. On on the next slide, Howard, um, we we talked about the, you know, if you're if you're running your system, like your car, if you're running it forty percent less, um, you're going to see a life expectancy that grows. Um, that that picture on the bottom left shows a green sealant that we put on our condensers because our condensers are subjected to water and salt, and that's not a good combination for aluminum and copper. Um, but because the condensing fan is running slower, there's less air, less water, less salt, less corrosion or oxidation happening to the condenser. 
Um, and it and it ultimately lasts longer because you're not heating and cooling and heating and cooling and having all that thermal expansion going up and down, and you're really protecting the life of your system. And then, so if you look at the system on the top, that was recently, we took that picture when we recently installed that system in November of 2022. Um, that's a, that's the baseline of the gr greenness or the protect of the protectant that we put on. And then, then the bottom right shows a system that didn't have sun track and you can see that the sealant just gets, you know, it, it just gets, a, you know, abused and, it, and it, it doesn't last as long. So um, we've been having great success with longevity and trouble or no trouble calls with SunTrack installed. So um, because, again, we're running 40 percent less, the system runs uh, smoother and, and we expect it to last a lot longer. Now, a good analogy might be with a car. If you're in traffic and you're going to stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, stop, that is very hard on the engine and indeed on the whole drivetrain. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Whereas yep. if you did, fortunately for you on Oahu, you have a big stretch of open road and you're just cruising along at uh, the requisite 55 miles an hour. Number one, you're getting much better gas mileage. Number two, it's much easier <clears throat> on all the moving parts and, and on the, the drivetrain and the life of your car is extended. So same, isn't this the same principle? You know, Howard, um, yes, it is definitely. Um, mm -hmm. If you can go to the next slide, Howard, we, we didn't rehearse this, but you're a, <laughs> it seems as though you're a mind reader, but um, in, in our processes, what we do is we actually put an E-gauge, as I spoke earlier, we, we put an E-gauge on the system because number one, it'll benefit your Hawaii tax credit. N number two, we want to show the customer what your savings will look like. And number three, it allows me to show somebody, and you see that red box, and it might be an eye chart on the screen, but that red box shows 79 amps on an old system. So we were looking at a, we're looking at a time histogram of how much amperage was used by a system which is on 24 seven. Um, so you can see on the left side on the old system, on R22 system, uh, you can see that we hit 79 amp peak. And again, that one peak will dictate your, your peak load uh, calculations for your kilowatt hour, cents per kilowatt hour for the next 11 months on the HECO bill. Now you can see on the right side, when we installed the new system, the average is somewhere down in the uh, 28 amp range. And you can see the swings of the day, um, how the compressor ramps up, ramps down, ramps up, ramps down. And you can see the magnitude decrease with the SunTrack panel. So there, there's many different components here. But again, the $6,300, I maybe if I said 6,700, I apologize, but it's $6,300 that this company qualified for in Hawaii energy tax credits, not to mention the Inflation Reduction Act credits, et cetera. So we come in, we install the gauges, we make sure that you see the data so you know that you're saving money and it should, it will equate to dollars in your pocket um, throughout the life of the system. So we, we do this for our customers as part of the process. And we might ask the question, the broader picture, why is the federal government and why is Hawaii state government rewarding people for taking energy efficiency measures like this? Answer, our biggest export of dollars is to fossil fuel to foreign countries. And when we, the more we use efficient equipment like this, the less electricity we use and the less we have to import so we're not pouring out those dollars and then the customer, be he or she a homeowner or a large business, they are reducing their utility costs. They're able to keep that money in their pocket and hopefully reinvest it in our, for our hope to bring in even more energy efficient equipment. And all of that, as you're reducing your electricity use, you're reducing your production of carbon dioxide, which is the greenhouse gas which is warming up the entire earth. Yes. So far, we, we've gotten in Hawaii, we've gotten away just utterly blissfully 
I mean, we had a beautiful winter last year was beautiful, but much of the rest of the world is literally sweltering away. And one of these days, it's going to hit us and it's going to hit us a big time. So the more action, I mean, more proactive we are now to reduce CO2 production, the better we will be. And we, we lead the, the world too, Hawaii. I go to conventions and Hawaii is one of the leaders in, in the nation. Thank you, Howard. Great, great points. Um, I, I do want to add to not only do we install an e-gauge on your system, I actually forecast using, you know, uh, a spreadsheet, how much cash you'll save uh, over a period of time after the system pays for itself. And, um, you know, at, at times, businesses have shared with me their eco bill, and it's been anywhere from uh, 39 to 40 to 44 cents per kilowatt hour and after you pay off your system you you create cash flow for your business uh, it's it's incredible the amount of money that um, a, a business can save while, while using the tax credits the cash rebates etc it's 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 very it's a big amount of money that businesses can can put back into their, business owners and, and residents can put back into their their pockets yeah and and we're keeping dollars in hawaii rather than exporting those dollars overseas. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So there's there's a couple game change game changers that are that are happening with our uh constant it's called it's considered in the in the D Department of Energy, US Department of Energy is considered concentrating solar thermal power energy um mm -hmm. technology. So with that technology, one of the game changers is in President Biden's investing in America again, there is a elective pay or also known as the direct pay methodology, which enables uh, not-for-profits, uh, state, local municipalities, uh, tribal, uh, and other U.S. territories to take advantage of tax credits. Well, actually, it's a cash rebate because non-for-profits of these entities don't, don't pay taxes and don't have tax credits, but you can actually get cash through um, the, the, this new program that the uh, Inflation Reduction Act enacted. So that's very exciting for those, those entities. Okay. And as we draw to a close, I should make it clear mm -hmm. that I'm with the Hawaii State Energy Office, state government entity. We are not endorsing need on clean energy. No, not at we all. Are Thank you. Simply featuring this company because they're so much in the forefront. They're in the cutting edge of energy reduction, nor is this in, in, endorsed by um, our, our sponsors here. So with that being said, though, I, and, I, and, I, and I fully acknowledge that this is not a commercial for SunTrack nor Need on Clean Energy, but we do have a system going in at Bilger Hall in the mm. University of Hawaii at Manoa um, we are we are actively installing doing that install now. So we we are uh, collaborating with our local government to get this technology and to save uh, taxpayer money. Yeah, very appropriate because again, Hawaii was the first state to declare 100% clean energy as a goal, and now we're moving to the UH Manoa uh, campus to. Yes, sir. Really, this sounds like it's going to be a demonstration uh, project. Yes, sir. It is. It's a small unit, and we want to prove our technology, and we're very confident it'll prove well. Mm -hmm. um, so we have we're reinstalling it there. Yeah. And lastly, if I may, because I know we're running out of time, uh, there's a company Easy Roots that that's uh, their mission is to provide rapid profits for produce uh, agriculture uh, with challenging issues such as starting and operating cultivation facilities because there's high costs. So they're using SunTrack with their HVAC systems and setting up at a much reduced cost, implementing the reduction, uh, Inflation Reduction Act tax credits. Um, they, and, and you know, sustainability with uh, agriculture or controlled environments, this is gonna be good for self-sufficiency in, in growing our, our next generation um, agriculture. So it's, it's pretty exciting that they're taking this technology and, and again, taking this technology to the United Arab Emirates. Um, 
mm-hmm. and in in the U.S. and in, in deserts and where you have uh, very harsh uh, conditions not conducive for agriculture. So we're really excited about Easy Roots uh, taking this to the next level. Yeah, in addition to climate change, there will be a food crisis because of the increasing global uh, temperatures. There's whole areas of the world now, especially the Horn of Africa, East Africa, that is literally drying up before our eyes. And it's driving out the uh, agricultural people who have been there for centuries and centuries and centuries. There's just no way for them to make a living. And so they're headed for the cities and the cities are already overcrowded. So very, very sad situation. And this is just going to get worse and worse and worse. So to the extent that we can start to grow food in controlled environments at a very low energy cost, that's going to really, really, really benefit just literally billions of people. We we have hundreds of millions of people on the brink of starvation already. Wow. Yeah. 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 We should be very fortunate, feel fortunate. But I know people are struggling as well. So, you know, our job is really to help businesses succeed and people put money in their pockets and be more efficient and you know, just this we we just want to improve the life in here in Hawaii and around the world. And I, I know it, we have the most beautiful climate in the world and the most beautiful agricultural growing climate in the world, but still I know there are experiments out in the middle of the island where they're growing food in greenhouses carefully controlled, very low energy use, maybe thanks to your technology, and they are growing food at least twice as rapidly as you could yes. in the in the great outdoors. So, yes, maybe come yes. into a, a, your your grocery store near you in the next few years. Yes, yes, it's definitely optimized for growth. They they know the they know the light patterns and they know you know what's what's optimal temperature and and it's it's they can produce it really fast and efficiently. Yes, mm-hmm. and and not subjected to. Uh, harsh winds. I think wind is a big factor, or over too much rain, or you know th- those things are are now controlled and won't be impact negatively impacted in those situations. Mm-hmm. And on that very cheery note, Stephen Sasaki, thank you very much for representing Nidon Clean Energy, and congratulations to you. And let's get a lot of systems in there so we can reduce the demand for electricity, and the production of uh, CO2. So Howard Wig, Code Green, Think Tech Hawaii, thank you very much, our esteemed audience, and see you next time. Thank you so much for watching ThinkTech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please click the like and subscribe button on YouTube. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Check out our website, thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.